And in other news, now locally in St. Johns County, this at a self-storage facility and it has landed a Jacksonville man in jail. Police say 37-year-old Alan Lawson broke into the Atlantic self-storage several times. The stolen items included money and guns and the incidents were all caught on camera. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lashway has a look at the thefts and what you can do to keep your valuables safe. According to the St. John's County Sheriff's Office, 37-year-old Alan Lawson was caught on camera breaking into the Atlantic self-storage facility on Palm Valley Road in Ponte Vedra on several different occasions in June 2019. Warrants served state Lawson used bolt cutters and lock picks to break into several units, including the facility's front office. Authorities say surveillance video shows him stealing firearms, a compound bow and accessories, totaling thousands of dollars. He also stole a t-shirt and $200 out of the front office. We stopped by the facility. Management referred us to corporate. We have not received a response back. Can people store firearms? Is that legal? Yeah, I mean, as long as it's properly secure, you can store a firearm um, out of the public's eye. That's according to News for Jack's crime and safety expert, Ken Jefferson. People should be mindful of the fact that no matter where you pick, there's always an inherent risk of it being broken into, your items being taken and stolen. That's why you take the necessary precautions to get a really good lock, provide insurance for your valuables, uh, and then you pick the actual location that you want it to be stored, uh, a place that's well lit, a place that has access codes similar to this situation here. As for Lawson, he has been charged with seven third-degree felonies, one first-degree felony, one second-degree misdemeanor, and one first-degree misdemeanor. Upon conviction, he's looking at a lot of time in prison. In St. John's County, I'm Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.